And of course, Tylord leaves it there. When the races and the groups and the nationalities meet one another, they should integrate. That, of course, would be his evolutionistic conclusion. However, I don't believe that's what the Bible teaches. Even though we may have transgressed the boundaries of nationhood and of peoplehood, uh, it seems to me God did create man of one blood in order that he may dwell as different nations throughout the world. But after the fall, when sinful man cosmopolitanly, meaning by that with a desire to obliterate separate nationhood, with a desire to build a sort of a United Nations organization known as the Tower of Babel, when he attempted to resist developing peoplehood, remember what God said, come let us go down and confuse the tongues of men, uh, because man had said, let us build a city and a tower which would stretch up unto heaven, lest we be scattered. I think that word lest there is extremely significant. Man knew that it was the will of God to, for man to spread across the face of the earth and develop into nations. And the reason why they built the Tower of Babel was to prevent that from happening. It was essentially a, a, an apostate religious act of, of cosmopolitan purpose. And God, of course, made it impossible by twisting the tongues of men and then so they couldn't understand one another, then driving them apart from one another into the various nations as we have them. Well, now I say, um, when sinful man cosmopolitanly attempted to resist developing peoplehood, Genesis 11, God himself miraculously accelerated this process of developing nationhood by confusing the tongues of men and scattering them into the different peoples across the face of the earth. Notice that the original Greek of Acts 17 literally suggests that God, out of one man Adam, made each ethnic group of mankind in order that each ethnic group may make itself at home in its own part of the face of the earth, after God himself had predetermined both the times that each ethnic group would flourish as well as the national boundaries of its abode. And I think all of us would have to admit that to the extent that we've transgressed that principle, to that extent we've run into serious problems of race relations in the world today.